Hey folks, Rob here. And I uh, thought I'd bring you today of a unboxing of a new uh, new gun I got. And as you can tell by the uh, description in the box there, it is a Citadel shotgun. Now I picked this up off uh, Bud's. Uh, ordered it online. Uh, honestly, have to say I'm a, a little bit disappointed because um, the gun it said it was in the description is not exactly what it what I got. Uh, I had kind of intended to order this because I wanted a, uh, a shorter barreled gun that had interchangeable choke tubes that uh, could be used as a multifunction gun, even possibly a turkey gun. I was thinking about doing a little series about uh, taking a gun like this and converting it into a turkey gun, doing a wrap on it and mounting a red dot and things like that but that kind of got blown out of the water so what i i got and, and it's what i ordered uh is the citadel and this is the citadel pat uh, and what you get in the box is the gun in a bag and i did inspect it at the uh before i picked it up so i did uh look it over but you have the Citadel PAT, and that is the Citadel PAT 12 gauge nickel finish. And it is the FR PAT 1220 nickel. So that's uh, what it's, what the, uh, the number calls for on it. So. Anyway, it comes with a, a really simple Legacy Sports, you know, just a black and white, simple, it's a pump shotgun, it's not, it's not rocket size, but uh, uh, there's your manual, comes in this plastic bag, uh, it, I, I kind of looked at it, I didn't look at it real close at the, uh, the gun shop, I had it shipped from Bud's to, uh, local pawn shop here in Moorhead and uh, picked it up there um, and it's just as cheap for me to do it that way as it is to drive to Lexington so uh, it was a $20 transfer fee but uh, that's okay it cost me more not to drive to Lexington so what we have here is the Citadel PAT pump action shotgun and this one is in the nickel finish. It does have the fiber optic sight there on the front. Honestly, this this looks to be a really well-made gun. It is a uh, uh, Citadel PAT 12 gauge, three inch chamber made in Turkey by Francolin Arms. So I've never heard of Francolin Arms, but uh, you know, it looks to be plastic trigger group, uh, has a triangular safety, kind of has that hog over mold kind of grip, does have your section of pick rail here on the bottom, and uh, overall, it's really lightweight. Now, your ghost ring sight here on the back is plastic, uh, so it does have a plastic sight, and when I took it out of the box, this was actually loose. It was just kind of on there does have the dovetail with this rail piece on it. And if it's anything like the Ivor Johnson I had, I'll probably have to take that loose and lock tight it because that stuff seems to come loose on these guys. But uh, overall, let's wipe it off a little bit here. It is covered in oil. When they send them from Turkey, they, even though this is, of course this is a, this receiver is aluminum. So the only really nickel part is the, the uh, the barrel. This is just a anodized aluminum with a nickel colored finish on it. Uh, but this is a, a lightweight, nice little gun. I'm impressed with it so far. Um, but uh, like I said, here's your ghost ring sight on the back. I hope you can see that. Uh, I don't know if you can see the front sight there with it but uh, I was really wanting one with interchangeable choke tubes and it did say it had it and I'm gonna put in a 
a uh, picture of the uh, web page in the description from Buds that says this has the Benelli chokes. Uh, but overall, the fit and finish on this little gun is really good. You're, you have your safety right here behind the trigger. Um, and this gun is unloaded. It's never, as you've seen, I just took it out of the box. It does have a chrome line bore and barrel. The action on it's actually pretty smooth. I mean, right out of the box, pretty smooth action. Uh, uh, but I, I think it's four plus one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll have to shoot it. Before we shoot it, we'll disassemble it. We'll take it apart and look at the internals and uh, check it out from the inside. Make sure everything is good from the inside. So uh, we'll give it a good cleaning so it will uh, function uh, at its best. But uh, yeah, the, uh, the action on this is really smooth. Uh, here is your unlocking lever for your, your bolt. And uh, has a nice big, uh, I really like this uh, forearm. It's got a little bit of texture, but it's not overly fat. This is just a nice lightweight gun. This will make a nice uh, home defense gun. I was really hoping for the interchangeable choke tubes, though. Because uh, I had uh, some ideas for this one. Like I said, I thought maybe mount a red dot uh, optic on it. Maybe do the the gun skin wraps and kind of convert it from a home defense gun into a turkey gun and put a maybe a Carlson X, 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 XR, XR long beard tube in it and uh, you know maybe do a series on uh, taking a gun like this and making it into a viable turkey gun on the cheap because this gun was uh, $209 so Anyway, uh, I'd like to thank everybody that watches. I'm just going to keep this one short. Just a quick unboxing and look at the gun initially. And uh, our next video, I'm going to do three parts on this one. We'll, next one, we'll take it apart, disassemble it, look at it, clean it, get it ready to shoot. And then in the third video, we'll take it out and shoot it. So we're going to do a little short series on this one. And uh, just look and see uh, what kind of... Turkish made pump gun you get for 209 bucks. Uh, had it had the uh, interchangeable choke tubes, this would have been, in my opinion, an outstanding value. Uh, overall, I'm pleased with the gun. I'm just not pleased with the fact that the description was wrong and it led me to buy something because I actually had another shotgun in mind to buy that was really the same price as this one. And it did, did, it did come with the uh, interchangeable choke tubes, or at least uh, the description from Kentucky Gun Company said it did. So um, I chose this one over that one uh, simply because this one already had the rail mounted and it had the pistol grip stock where the other one's just a, uh, a standard configuration uh, with no, no base there to mount a, a red dot. So... That's kind of my thought for picking this one over the other one. And had I known this one, here's the thing of it is, in, if you shop on Buds and you have a question about a product, you can ask a question. Well, the description said it uh, had the MC1 mobile compatible. So I asked the question, you know, does this gun have interchangeable chokes? And if you go to the Buds website and look at this gun, you will clearly go down to the questions and you'll see where I asked that question and somebody answered me and said, yes, it not only comes with choke, uh, interchangeable choke, but it comes with three choke tubes. So that is my the reason I bought it. And so uh, obviously some of the people who answer the questions uh, for buds, the experts who uh, do this are not knowledgeable about all guns. So I would think that these people would not uh, comment on something they wasn't 100% sure about, you know. I read the description. I even went to the Citadel website, Citadel Firearms, and if you look up the PAT model, it clearly says on their website that it comes with the Benelli mobile chokes 
And actually their website says it comes with five choke tubes. So between that, their website, and the Bud's website, I felt pretty assured, but I still wanted to know and was steered wrong. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. I still, I think the gun will be a nice little gun and I'm not dissatisfied. Um, actually, the more I look at it, the more I like it. Uh, of course, we'll take it out and shoot it. Um, when I did receive it, this, this was loose in the box. Seems like a lot of these Turkish guns have loose front sights. I did uh, uh, take an Allen wrench and back that out a little bit and put some Loctite on it and put it back in. So it was it was just a loose enough you could wiggle it a little bit. So I've already fixed that issue. And I'll probably pull these out and Loctite them as well. So anyway, guys, just a quick look at the Citadel PAT also known as the oh, FRPAT-1220 Nickel, NKL, from uh, Legacy Sports International, Reno, Nevada. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate everybody that watches my channel. Takes the time to leave comments, gives me thumbs up. Uh, if you don't leave a comment, just give me a thumbs up. That way I know, you know, you like the video. If you didn't like the video, leave me a thumbs down. Gives me a gauge to know, you know, kind of what you guys like and uh, what to uh, try to do in fu for future videos. Um, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate everybody. Oh, and congratulations to the winner of the uh, 1,500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, your uh, tumbler, mug, whatever you, will be in the mail in a day or two. Thanks for watching, guys.